Hello everyone, happy time zone. We're gonna get right to it today. I would like everyone to pay attention. Today is National Mechanical Pencil Day. It's July 5th. And I'd like to tell you, I have a little speech here prepared from the, uh, the wonderful uh, nationaltoday.com. Mechanical Pencil Day is celebrated each year on July 5th all around the world. Mechanical pencils have so many uses in the classroom and workplace. Even if you use pens for all your written, written work, we often do draft calculations and writings with pencils to avoid making an error in our final copy. While the world prefers digital forms of communication, mechanical pencils make writing and design easier and add a personal touch to them. Mechanical Pencil Day celebrates this marvelous invention and encourages more people to take up the lost art of writing with pencils. Celebrate the day by penning heartfelt notes to your loved ones with a mechanical pencil. Happy Mechanical Pencil Day. <laughs> How are y'all? <laughs> How do you, can we pencil heartfelt notes to our loved ones instead of pen heartfelt notes? I feel like they, uh, I feel like they made a mistake here. <laughs> I'm good, Glyph. I got your email. I owe you an answer. Well, you'll get one today, allegedly. How are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's in this comment section. Y'all have been on point this morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, if I've missed your question, uh, feel free to re-up it. Want to start the stream with an unrelated question to that email? Absolutely. Hit me Hit me up. Why is this follow? Natali HT with the follow. Thank you so much. Great, Scott. Seven months of subbing. Let's go. How is Toby? Pretty good. So... He had his medicine last night. No medicine so far today. He's only had coughed like a couple of times. So we're going to see how that goes. But we have the medicine on standby if he really gets into like a coughing fit. He's in a good mood. He played a bunch yesterday. And guess what? While we're here, while we're here, where's this alert box? We can meet a new friend. A new friend that we're all, I mean, not like physically here. A new friend for the, for the icebox uh, pets of happiness here. A new friend. Someone you may have heard of, may have uh, seen before on a different stream chat. Um, let me show you. Kirby. Yay, Kirby. Kirby's, I No, Toby. Toby even perked up. Toby's excited that Kirby's here. You see Kirby? That's your new friend Kirby. You and Kirby would be besties. So I don't know if Toasty's here. Probably not today. Probably not so or back to work. Toasty's probably back to work today. But that's uh, Toasty Treats, beautiful girl. Oh, there she is. That's Toasty Treats, beautiful girl Kirby. Thank you so much. Opened this up yesterday. Love, love, love Kirby. I love this picture. This is a really great picture. So thank you so much. And then Toasty, we got to know what color ink this is because that's a pretty cool ink. Do you remember? I like that. It's like a yellowy greenish. I was watching the replay of yesterday. Yes, yeah, surprise, holiday stream yesterday. I needed to get back uh, back to streaming, even though it was a holiday. I had been off of it on vacation so long as like it was ready to get back in there. Pow. So, funny thing. It came up, Power Belly gifted subs, and then it froze. And then it was 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, Power Belly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, wow. 10 gifted subs, Power Belly. I really, really appreciate it. Good gracious. Hogtown Pens, what's up? You're on vacation right now? Enjoy that vacation. They are much needed. Much needed. Um, okay, so that wasn't just me. It was maybe just like a glitch in the matrix. I was like, sweet, Power Belly gifted subs. And it's 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, Power Belly. Toby approves that. I can tell Toby's feeling better because when I raise my voice, he's actually like looking up at me instead of just like completely passed out. Um, you're here, but my signal's bad, so the stream keeps going in and out. <clears throat> um, so where am I? Power Belly. Seriously, thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. If you got a if you got a gifted sub, give Power Belly a shout out. Thank you, B, for being an awesome part of this community. If you got a gifted subs, enjoy your new Toby emotes. Toby's feeling very, very well now. So um, I really, really appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, 
So while we let, we're gonna let these alerts play because that's what you get for uh, gifted subs. We gotta let the alerts play out. Uh, Max writes a lot with the five gifted subs. What is going on today? Thank you so much, Max writes a lot. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're still enjoying that right well. I will never forget that. That was a that was a fun giveaway. Uh, enjoy y'all's gifted subs. Max writes a lot. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I talked a lot on the podcast, so my voice is shot today. So I'm going to be quiet for two seconds while we go put Toby out. I mean, y'all know I'm not going to be quiet, right? And then I'll try to figure out where all the messages are. Um, I am out of magnets. <laughs> I think I have some more. Oh, yeah. Um, Kirby's going to get a strong like bull magnet. So we're gonna add Kirby to the door. So this is the the pet door of happiness. So all your pet picks, they get to go here. So we have a bunch of fun uh, pet picks from all of you wonderful viewers. So cool, so fun. That makes me happy. I should leave it. I should leave it open because it makes me happy. But it's hard to see when it's behind me. <laughs> we'll leave it open there. <clears throat> yeah. So. Uh, if you have pet photos you want to send, exclamation point P.O. This might be P.O. box. I check it like twice a week. And um, I will add your, your pets. Up. Hopefully, maybe I should start putting them back here too. So we can see them more. You know, because the door gets a little bit off camera. That'll be a good. We'll start filling them here. So um, we'll start doing that too. So they can get more in the camera. Let's see. Let's start with like Kirby. Like, What would that look like? Something like this. Up there. Oh, yeah. That'll be good. That'll be good. We'll start filling up the inside now instead of the bottom bottom of the door. So there we go. <clears throat> you know a guy that makes magnets? Facts. Facts. Uh, yeah, I have like a stack in the shipping department. <clears throat> All right. What did I say I was going to do? I have no idea. Uh, there's a bunch of questions that y'all keep asking me. How about a photo montage? You know what? We should have the the be right back screen or the starting screen have like a, a pet montage of what y'all sent me. All right. <clears throat> pen addict. This is from Glyph. So if there, Spore one twenty seven six months of subbing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. So Glyph says, is there any particular reason the Roadie twos aren't mixed and matched like the icon? Um, I'm trying to think of a good reason. Probably. <laughs> A Miller, 81 with the sub. I think I missed yours. Yes, gotcha. A Miller, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate you. Glad you're here. Is there any particular reason the roadies twos aren't mix and match? Probably sanity. I'm gonna go with sanity. Of oh, shipping department sanity. Um, that's what I'm gonna go with that. What started in the story said? I'll have to look at that. Part two. <coughs> Excuse me. Are we getting more roadies with neural grip sections? Um, yes. Part three, can I request a specific setup if we can't mix and match? Because there's one I really want. Um I will take it under advisement um, if you would like to send that to me and then I can answer that offline because I can't say yes or no because if I don't know what it is. Um, you are free to email me and I'm free to not reply for weeks and then I will think about it. <laughs> Weren't you taking Toby out? No, I was actually not taking Toby out. He's good. He crapped in here earlier, which was great which he never does. <clears throat> yeah, do what Slumlord Slum Studio has a great idea. Um, buy two roadies and then swap your parts that you want. Then you have two. Can you request a purple axle? We made purple axles and they sold out. Yeah, I think it's the still not feeling well type of thing. He's like, ah, bruh. It's like I literally went from in this room to go make breakfast and then he deuced us and... Uh, Right here. It's revenge from abandoning him at the vet. True. Like, can I re request the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? Yes. Yes. Um, who requested National Mechanical Pencil Day? 
you don't make the parts I want. Well, good. That saves you an email to send and me an email to read and reply to. Problem solved. <laughs> Brad, you had to put pink in and eyes in my head. I That has been a day one color. Seriously, it's just it's tough. No, you're still getting it. Rip. Swapped around my Rody 2 and Rody XL caps and grips the other day for funsies. Yeah, exactly. How do you know when you have too many pens? Hmm. Is there an answer to that? How do you know when you have too many pens? I don't know. I'm definitely the wrong person to answer that question. And I have less pens than I have ever had. Only because I've had some out. Dormouse Desk, I need to email you um, about maybe what we talked about last month. But like my schedule is so crazy. When your wife says it's the pens or her, that's something to consider. When you find a pen that you forgot you had, I have three pens that I've lost that I can't find. <clears throat> yeah, I like Dormouse, I am like, I'm on it. When you have to cut it down to 100, I see what you did there from Corolla. That hurts a little bit. Because <laughs> it's true. It's true. I said I have to this month have the next sale. Like I put a deadline on July 31st of the next batch of pens to remove. So <clears throat> you can see your desk, Evan. Like I can't even see my desk right now. Like I talked about some of this on the podcast today when y'all, if y'all didn't hear it live, I talked about uh, cleaning, cleaning up and doing some things. So Brad, can we see your 100 plus secondary pins? Uh, yeah, let me do this next batch of sales because we shouldn't have too many secondary pins. Um, other than like the, the low cost stuff like Kaveco Sports, Lamy Safari, stuff like that that I'm not counting in. <clears throat> A loving partner will never make you pick the pins or them. Facts. I like that. SSMQ61E, 22 months of subbing in a row. Love it. Love it. I don't have a fountain pen in reach, so that must be a sign I need more. I love how this community says, how do you know when it's too much? How do you know when you have too many pens? And everyone's answer is trying to figure out how to get more pens. Like, that's proper. Oh, that's what you mean, someone's too? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Email sent? Cool. Email not read. <clears throat> I will tonight, though, at some point. Because I, I, I do have to answer. I think I have an answer for your other question, so I'm going to give you that. Love sent. I appreciate that. Love sent back. All right. So we got Kirby mail. Um, and this is a good time to open up other viewer mail because there's something for you in this. Um, so I don't know if uh, Malejandra Lu is here today. Mariella, are you here today? I got an awesome package in the mail, and it's for y'all, from, from Mariella here in the Twitch chat. <clears throat> I don't know if you're here. We'll see. Oh, I can look at my thing here. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here today? It's okay, because they will see, um, they will see it. Uh, we will definitely do it one time. There's enough for everybody to be able to do it one time when they are here. Just like um, Major Bedlam, I still have your Platinum Perpinaps, which I talked about on the podcast today. My wife says I don't understand the pen thing while making creepy baby heads. Facts, facts, facts. Did you see the Clutch Pencils YouTube Spoke Model 6? I did. That was really cool. And there were several spokes on the list. That was neat. I did watch that yesterday. Thank you for sending that. Happy Mechanical Pencil Day. I was on a work call. Did I miss anything big? Uh, you missed, we got a picture of Kirby. Hey, JJ. <laughs> saw, this is just such random. I saw a video today about how someone drove their minivan down a boat ramp in Hawaii because GPS told them to go that way. All right. I guess Malahandralu is not here today, but I have opened this and I want to do this for y'all because it's a giveaway. Thunder Viking, 47 months. New pen. Who dis? Let's go. Have y'all bought a new, new pen recently? New glasses? No. I've had these since the beginning of the year. Um, it's just I'm probably leaning forward and they look more green instead of my other ones were brown. So uh, they are new, but like six months. Um, 
Have anyone ordered pens from Magna Carta? Ordered a pen over a month ago, still no pen. Said they sent, but won't provide tracking. I have not, Boss Baker Chris. Will they be at PNW? He seems to go to a lot of shows. New pins incoming today. I did have place a jet pins order yesterday. We'll do an unboxing next week. New pins on order from Japan. Try not to buy any new pins to DC. Bought a Monograppa from, oh, from me. Hi. Oh, nice. Congratulations, con congratulations, Power Belly. Is that the order that I have in the queue? If so, I will ship that today. Magna Carta is the worst. Buy from a dealer. Interesting. I haven't heard that yet, so that's good. Uh, good stuff. So I'm going camping next week and strongly considering my new Mont Blanc 146 rollerball with me. That's nuts, right? It is not remotely nuts. I take a Mont Blanc 146 fountain pen. Any pen, anywhere, anytime. I have a new pen out for delivery. Y'all are hilarious. <clears throat> London pen from its 50% off sale. Nice. New printer incoming. That sounds terrible. Paper printer or 3D printer? Anyone have any insight to the typical time frame for a Monty Win Winnefield stack nib? Has anyone had um, one of Monty Winfield's um, nibs and had a time frame you can help uh, Pat a Chan with? I'm not sure. I'm enjoying your Yarder lead. That is, uh, Alan, like, I legitimately love that pen. Like, it just ended up being too large for me. That nib is so good. Like, I, and I, I loved it when I was using it. I just couldn't use it that often. I did randomly get a Kurtog Advance upgrade. Nice. Got the new Orange Eco coming. I did get that. Bought a Sailor Pro Gear from someone in the stationary group. Y'all are out of hand. Love it. By the way, did you see the comment I left on the Sailor's Warning Post? Uh, yes. I had got the Sailor's Delight typo fixed, but was there a second one? I kind of had a feeling that you were talking about 3D printers, Evan. I had to call a stop to new pins last week. Absolutely fair. Got my Nakaya Dorsal Fin V2. Wow, that's awesome. The episode with Frank is definitely going to cost me money at some point. Yeah. I like I've been using my pocket master a lot. I wrote a bunch of notes with it yesterday. I really like this pen. That was it. Okay. That's one of those things where you have Sailor's Warning and Sailor's Delight. No matter I'm sitting there sa staring at Sailor's Warning, you can't get it out of your head. And sometimes the word just comes out. And when I even reread it, like it just you just gloss over it. So thank you. It's still not fixed as the first words. Okay, I'll double check. I'm saving up for a Toma. I probably should consider that too. I know I, then I must have done it twice because I know I fixed one yesterday, unless I didn't sell it. I have not bought a new pen this year. That sounds perfect. Like, nothing wrong with that. That sounds great. The new Delta Right Balance is nice. I don't think I've seen that one. All right, let's do a giveaway. I don't think Malahandru Drilau is here. Um, but they sent me a wonderful, let me do this. Y'all will, will enjoy this. So check this out. So we got this, right? I got this in the mail. Looks like you picked one in the second paragraph, but not the one in the second second word of the post. Unbelievable. All right, I will do that while the giveaway is going. All right, so we have this, chat. We have this. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? Looks like... um. Looks like the little uh, biscuits that Rebecca would get from Ted uh, every day in the office. So I got a note. I got a note. Look at this note. How cool is that note? Look at that. Look at that stationery. I love the stationery. Hi, Brad. Hope you're doing well. I recently received a prize I won, second time winning, and got inspired by the Pay It Forward message from the Pay It Forward project notebooks you included, and of course by your generosity in each stream. I made these ink sample sets from my stash of inks, which keeps exponentially growing by the day. I feel you on that one. For you to do your thing or to keep any around that you like. Take care. See you around on stream. Mariella Male Jandralu. Um, P.S. Tell Toby he's a good boy. Toby. <laughs> he's all splayed out. Toby, you're a good boy. Except for the time you pooped like an hour ago while I was podcasting, but... You're still a good boy. I love you. So yeah, how cool is that? I, I really love this stationery. I'm gonna have to ask them where they got this. So not only do we have a four pack, you do spy an L Wood. This is my favorite, one of my favorite 
favorite pens. Um, not only do we have a four pack, Malehandralu. I know I keep I I can say it, but I keep getting stuck when I look at it. If I don't look at it, I can say it. So we have sampler sets with samples on here. So we have a coffee sampler set with these four coffee inks: KWZ Cappuccino, Robert Oster Cafe Crema, Colorverse Coffee Break, and Three Oysters Caramel Macchiato. Toby is a poop caster. He is. Ferris Wheel Press Sparkling Set, April Showers, Queen Allium, Blue Barrel Tonic, Adventurine, Birmingham Penco Sampler Set, Pitted Nickel, Sandstone, Pennsylvania Fieldstone, Petrified Wood, and then Birmingham, oh, set, that was Birmingham set number two, this is Birmingham set number one, Jade Inferno, Hot Rolled Steel, Bordeaux, and Ultramarine. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do... A giveaway for one set, and you can pick any set that you want, and I'll give you the set and the sample sheet. How about that? So, Malahandralu, thank you so much. Um, I do have to ask if anyone knows. There's this great little bookmark they sent. Is this from uh, Angela? Because that looks like her ink bottle, and it's like a little bookmark thing. Is that where this came from? Because it's really nice. Let's see. And it's, it's a cool design because the pin goes over the edge and you can clip it on there. All right, so let's do ink sample giveaway. Oh, let me open these up. It looks like one of these like might have leaked just a hair or two of these, but not bad. Oh, look. Wow, they did this whole type thing on the side of here too. That's crazy, chat. All right, I'm not gonna unpack all these, but they're like, you got the sample vials. This is really impressive. Wow. That's the coolest thing. So we're going to give all these away. Not today. One at a time. So we're going to... I'll let... We'll do... Um, we'll do some pick here. So it looks like this one... Like, the leak doesn't look bad. So I hate to mess up the packaging. Maybe I should... Uh, Packaging's so good. Maybe I can just twist the top here real quick. Oh, and they're little. They're in the little. Look, I guess we. I'm glad I opened this so we can see this. Carol Jolin, ten months of subbing. Let's go. Look at these. They're in the little little bitty bottles like this, and they all have labels on them. This is completely out of hand. This is completely out of hand. Every step, it gets better. All right, so let me put this back together so you get the full experience here. Okay, so that's that one. This is impressive, so then that's that one. And then that's this one. And all these little boxes are, are really neat. I wonder if they made these boxes, like, cut from, like, different paper like the way they're designed they almost feel not pre-made like that that they made them themselves so we'll have to ask them uh malahandralu next time they are in the stream if they made yeah see looks like oh no these might be put to mm, no there's tape and stuff i don't know good grief right so thank you so much for doing this and let's give one away all right i'll let y'all pick whichever we can go through the colors again um, here, let me get this giveaway going. Let me fix my typo from Monday. Oh, uh, it's cool. This is so cool. All right. So we have a giveaway open for one ink sampler set, your choice. I'll let you pick out whichever set you want. I'll show them to you again if you win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. Um, you must be present to win, and you must email me your shipping address. And then we'll go over these um, at the end. And uh, let me fix my typo since my laptop's right here, since I just finished podcasting. I'm glad you saw that glyph because I am 
not right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right there in the first word. Unbelievable. In the product link. I was like, oh, it's not the link, it's later in the thing. But nope, it was actually twice. All right, fixed. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing when you, you typo the product link that you're trying to share. Just trying to make up for how much you annoy me. You don't annoy me whatsoever. It's good to have about a hundred editors facts. I do like try. Um, Platinum thirty seven seventy six VIPs. What is that? Send that to me, Dormouse does. If you have a link up, yeah. Like I try to edit like the misspellings or just like terrible grammar, and then I still miss a lot of stuff. Um, I just don't have the time generally to like do things in advance. I'm working like such on tight deadlines not ahead that I can't really have like even pay someone to look at it because my my workflow <laughs> is is sketchy on a good day. Sully good, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Just build it. Yeah, you are doing a, quite a job of sucking up. You don't have to suck up to get to get uh, fun stuff from me. I'm an equal opportunity uh, uh, provider of stationary fun. All right, y'all got about 20 seconds left. Look at this stuff. How cool is this? Have you already decided if you win which one you're picking? I think it's hard to pick. There is no right or wrong answer here. C. Okra, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. You do need to suck up to the bot. Yeah, so you, you've run out of time today if you did not suck up appropriately to the bot. The bot does like uh, to be talked to nicely. So it tends to, uh, tends to play favorites. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, and temporally does uh, remind everyone that you can choose chaos. You can talk dirty to the bot. Like, I, don't, I mean, you know. The bot's the bot. Birmingham's hard to get over here. True, true, true. All right, uh, let's pick a winner. Delgo. Delgo start. Listen to this. Delgo is a new, a new fountain pen user. This is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so you get to try some new stuff. I love it. So now, here comes the challenge, though, Delgo. You have to pick. You have to pick a certain set, or you can choose chaos. What chaos means is I will just hold these behind my back and randomly pick one for you without seeing it, and then just send it to you. So if you prefer chaos, we can do that. We can choose chaos. Or we can go by foodies again. So let's go top to bottom here. There are no bad choices. There is no wrong choice. So we have a coffee set. Like coffee set would be my pick just because of coffee inks, but there's not a lot of variance in here, right? It's just testing some of the like different browns. All right, so that's the coffee set. And then we have Birmingham set number one. Whoops, that's not it. This is number two. So that's this one. That's pitted nickel, sandstone, fieldstone, petrified wood. So that's set two. Then Birmingham set one is Jade Inferno, Hot Rolled Steel, Bordeaux, and Ultramarine. And then the last set, set is Ferris Wheel Press Sparkling, which these are, this last set, uh, okay, gotcha with the PA Fieldstone. So this last set is Shimmer Ink. So like I, for like Delgo, like being pretty new, I, I would actually like say, uh, Spammer, I would actually say skip this one, but like someone else might really like this one a lot, but these are all shimmering. So that is the PA Fieldstone. That is sampler set two. 
Got it. So we're going to do this one. Pitted nickel, sandstone, Pennsylvania fieldstone, petrified wood. Nice. Yeah, you can't go. There's literally no choice, no wrong choice on any of these. But you do. You should know. People should know the shimmer inks. Like you, if you want to deal with the shimmer. But yeah, really good. Great. Malihandro, Drulu. Uh, gosh, I need hydrates. All right, so Delgo, you need to email me your shipping address. Even though you've won once, you have to email me every time because this is how I organize shipments. Plus, people might change their shipping addresses. So let me give you something here. Put your name on it. Put your name on it. Great color's been using pitted nickel a lot. Yeah, that looks like a cool color. And that field stone looks pretty neat too. All these look good. It's a good set. All right. Oh yeah, this time Delgo start, uh, send me your last name. <laughs> So if you don't send me your last name, I usually put your Twitch handle as your last name. <laughs> well, um, and if you don't send me your name at all, and you just send me like a random email address, I address them to resident pen addict, um, which I have been known to do. So enjoy that. Let's see, I probably need to do it like this. Because really, we don't need names, we just need addresses, but I like to do something fun. All right, we gotta tape this down. My go-to is Brum2. Have to rep the Commonwealth? Gotcha. Well, that is where Birmingham Pen Co. is from. So that is a local, local ink selection. <clears throat> All right, got it. All right, let's see here. Let me scooch this stuff out of the way. So we'll have three more sets. We'll do, yeah, this will be great for tomorrow. I'm gonna do more uh, ink samples of my own. God, this puts me on the spot now. My ink samples weren't gonna be this cool. Malahandralu. Now I'm gonna, I'm guilted into like fancying up my ink samples. But um, tomorrow I'm going to do ink samples. I, I really need to get that project wrapped. Wrapped and sent. I really do have to step it up. I really, I need to step up a lot of things. So we'll continue. We'll do another set tomorrow along with, we'll do a couple giveaways tomorrow. Pipetter is pretty fancy. I need a pipetter sticker, I'm pretty sure too. I need a lot of stickers. Um, that will go here. We'll shut this for now. Did y'all see my sign Brian made me? If you weren't here yesterday, I opened up uh, re restock of the spoke stuff, and he said he was making me a sign for my uh, display in the back. That's pretty cool. <sighs> Pipetter emo, True, 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 true. We could work on that. All right, chat. What else do we need to talk about today? Um, the podcast was good. Mike and I were back. The sign is bespoke. Brad, want to play a game? Show us your first jet pens order. Okay, we can do that. That'll be a good game because I just placed my most recent jet pen order. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. How many jet pens orders? Oh, I think these are all the same account. How many jet pens orders does Brad have in his queue? And uh, closest, even going over, will win something from jet that I've ordered from jet pens that I'll find in here. I don't know what it could be. All right, so. Let me look and see if, let me, hang on, don't answer yet. Hold, 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 hold. If I have to count these orders, it's off. I just, it needs to just show me. Like, I'm not gonna count them. <laughs> so hold this thought, let me look first. And this isn't actually all of them because I did change my email account like one time. And my, I think I had actually, I actually had two accounts at one time. So hang on, hold everything. Because if I have to count these, it 
Does this have a subtotal here? Okay. It counted for me. It counted for me. Okay. This is the total number of all my jet pins orders, which Slomo and Studio just set. So I was asked to pull up my first order. And so if you can guess how many orders I have placed from jet pins all time. This looks like all of my orders ever from the beginning of the blog. This, this looks like all of them and it gives me a number. So closest to the number will win something. So I need to put, um, so yeah, it'll start at where like, uh, so there's a message from Inky Bias Statistician that says, how many years back does this go? That is the beginning of the guesses. And I'll just give you, like I'm not running a timer, so y'all just keep putting in your orders, your numbers. This is the all time number of jet pins orders I have made since 2007. <laughs> So we'll let this go for a second here. And I'm gonna get a piece of paper because I'm gonna have to do some math probably on who got closest. So you can go over. Um, so it's just the closest total. So I'm gonna write down the number here. And then I'll have to figure out who got closest. All right, we're officially into the uh, to the funny numbers section. 469, 420, 1337. Three people said 420. <laughs> oh, and Slumberland Studio just keeps making guesses. Like, one guess, please. One guess, please. All right. We'll go 30 more seconds. I'm just watching a different timer. 30 more seconds, and then, I will, then we'll stop. And... Uh, and then we'll see. You can change yours to 13, 12. Sure, you can change your guesses. <clears throat> All right, two, one. And All right, so right there at Dragon Drawer Sub. Thank you, Dragon Drawer, for the seven months sub. That's the end. That's the end. All right. All right, so let me scroll through. Let me get let me get a winner and then I'll tell you how many it is. It shouldn't take too long. What happens in case of a tie chat? I think we're gonna have a tie unless someone gets closer. <laughs> we'll just send something to both the winners unless there's a closer one. I'm still auditing, still auditing. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nope. 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 Oh, we had a late entrant. Late entrant got really close. All right, so we had a tie. We had a tie, no one got it exactly. The closest was 15, although Miss Cookie's late entrant, sorry Miss Cookie, Miss Cookie's late entrance was within five so the total, I will show you on this screen because then we can see my first order too. The total is 282. <laughs> I have placed 282 orders since 2007. Uh, so Nate Daniel and Fiendor both guessed 267. So those were within 15. That's not nearly enough. Well, who knows how many items was in that, right? 282 orders <laughs> since 2007. So Nate, Daniel, and Fiendor. So Nate, Daniel, and Fiendor, can you both 
email me, hello at pinac.com, tell me you won the Jet Pins Guess, and I'm going to, um, I'm, I know, Miss Cookie, I do have a problem. I do have a problem. So email me, and I'm going to send you something that I have from Jet Pins here, and we'll look in here. But go ahead and email, email me, say you won the Jet Pins contest, and I'll figure it out. So Fiendor and Nate Daniel. Both of y'all email me, hello at penaddict.com. Um, they have a, a full-time employee just fulfilling Brad's orders. True. That's crazy. All right, so now we need to look at my first order. So my first order ever from JetPens. So Fiendor and Nate Daniel, you don't know what you want. I'm going to send you something from JetPens. Uh, like something that I have like in here. I just need to figure out what's what. Uh, yeah, no, bod, you were the, you were the closest for a long time. All right, so the Pilot High Tech C Slim Knock 0.3 millimeter black and 0.3 millimeter blue. Do they even have those anymore? Nope. Uh, Pentel Sleechy, 0.3 millimeter black, 0.3 millimeter blue. Pilot G2, 0.38 millimeter black. Pilot High Tech C Kalito, three color pen with 0.4 refills of black, blue, and pink. Nice. Never red. Isn't there something above that? Yeah, this should be the oldest though. This is the bottom most one. 11 28 2007. Yeah, then 12 26 2007. Is that what you're asking me? And this is page 50. <laughs> this is at page 57 of that many items. It's ordered newest first. Yeah. So this is the oldest. View invoice, how much did I spend? Oh, that'll probably show my address, which y'all have anyway, but whatever. <clears throat> I don't feel so bad. Yeah, do y'all feel better now about yourselves? <laughs> Anyone know when JetPen started? I want to say 04. What was the first fountain pen order? I'll have to scroll through here. I know I ordered a Pilot Pettit or Petite probably pretty early on and a Platinum Preppy pretty early on. Let me look. I'm going to... So I'm gonna get this off the screen though. Um, so I have to expand all these orders. And this might take a while. Two thousand five. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I'm not gonna go. I'll go like three pages and see. Like I definitely ordered something to test like pretty early, but no, it never stuck. Oh man, a Pilot Friction, one of the original. Do y'all remember the original Pilot Frictions? They were really terrible. Terrible barrels. Do y'all remember these? Y'all remember those barrels? This was the first Pilot Friction. They have come a long way. They have come a long way. Yeah, yikes is right. Uh, let's see here. Not yet. Oh, there we go. Pilot Pettit one. That was, I was right. So 520 2008, the Pilot Pettit one, Petite one. What was wrong with the barrels? They were just like barbed wire tattoo barrels. <laughs> they were just tacky. Petite, Pilot Petite. So 2008, Petite. I, at least I guessed that correctly. I thought that was right. Hmm. Oh, and I went through a bunch of erasables here. Pilot E-Gel erasable, sucked. Pilot Signo erasable, sucked. Oh, Platinum Preppy was also in the same order as the Petite one. So there you go. I was right on both counts. So those were the first two fountain pens. Then after that, it was probably a while until we get into like Lamy Safari territory. Breaking news. B -b 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 breaking news. All right, this is a risky click since I have that screen pulled up. It better be something good. I trust Boss Baker Chris. B -b 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 breaking news. We have worked on material this time. Something new for us and Leonardo Pens. A special material who takes the sign of use, making each pen a unique piece that tells the history of people who own and use it. 
as it comes from the past and is known as the steel of the plastic industry. I don't know what that means. This is a preview and we really can't wait to show you our new exclusive project. Stay tuned and save the date. Huh. Huh. I wonder if this pen is under an embargo anywhere. Huh. Curious. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. This is a curious post. Curious. Lilium, he literally has one behind him in a box. Uh, no comment. Huh. 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 Interesting. 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 That's cool. I like it. Leonardo collaboration. Mm, you think, Ben? Maybe. I don't know. Apparently, there was only two prototypes. I don't know how I know that. I don't know how I know that. But I heard a rumor that there were only two prototypes. Someone once said. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Carbon fiber. <laughs> I can confirm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I can't confirm or deny anything. I was going to confirm carbon fiber or deny it. I don't know anything about this whatsoever. I know nothing. All right, Nate and Fiendor, did y'all send me your jet pin stuff? I don't, I don't know what I'm going to send y'all. I literally have no idea. Something from jet pins. I also have a new jet pins order coming. I'll have to figure that out. All right. That's cool. Thank you, Boss Breaker Chris, for sharing that. I hope it's Makarta. I love Makarta. I'm a huge Makarta fan. Because Makarta's, if you're not familiar with Makarta, it gets messy, right? You have to go into this knowing that it's going to get messy. <laughs> uh. Garolite. What happened with the? Did they uh, limit these Garolites? Um, was there something up like they? Was this more limited? So this is the G10. This is a firmer Macarta. Did they? Um, was this more limited? Edison can't get enough of the material, so it's going to end up limited. Gotcha. Okay, I knew it was something. I'd heard something, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, I thought it was going to keep going, but now it can't. Okay. You send an email. I just need your shipping address. Did you include your shipping address in your email? That's all I need. And then I'm going to send you something in the mail that will be stationary related from JetPens. So, is this your first time winning, Nate? It'll be a surprise package. So, all right. Nice. Well, congratulations on your first win. What day is today? Fifth. He's going to mail you the comic on the bottom of the invoice. I mean, I wouldn't put it past me. Something from jet pens. Do I have any jet pen stickers? Like, that would be something from jet pens. <clears throat> All right. I think we're going to wrap it here, chat. I got a lot of work to do today. So we're going to roll out.
Another person on the Zero Wins Club. Checking the date to see if you could confirm or deny. I was just wondering what, what time it was. I was going to see. Shipping stream? No. No. I just need to, uh, I need to execute the game plan in the shipping department today, right? We just got to get it done today. That's the plan. So, you know, I mean, I would love for y'all to hang with me while I ship, but I have so much to do that I just need to do it. I love y'all, though. All right, we're going to go hang out with someone I have not raided in quite some time, but we have raided before. They are doing a journaling catch up. All right, let's do this. Send them an invoice with a nib tape to the back. That would be the move. That would be the move. Thank you all for hanging out. Thanks for all the subs, gifted subs. Thank you all very, very much for being part of this. It's really fun. Like, I like being here. Like, I could be here, like, the rest of the day if I didn't have other stuff to do. Um, but, hey, that just means we can be back here tomorrow. We can, we're going to finish our ink project tomorrow, chat, especially if I can get ahead of all the labeling beforehand. If I can get my labeling done, we can do 13 inks in a stream tomorrow, especially with the pipetter. No problem. No problem. All right. We're going to go raid uh, Takube, and they are working on their journal. We have raided them in the past. Um, they're a variety streamer, streams a lot of games, a lot of stationery. So uh, go check them out. Say hi. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern.